Here I have Xiaomi Pocophone F1 and let me show you how to activate this device. So at the very beginning let's start by using your home screen. Then let's go next right here. Here you need to choose your desired language. This is the full list of available languages that you can use on your device. So in my case let me simply choose English from United States. Let's go next. Now you need to choose your region. So let me scroll down in order to find in my case Poland. Go next. Now you can connect your device to a network to your Wi-Fi. It's not necessary, but I usually recommend this step because the Wi-Fi connection enables a couple of useful features. So let me choose my network. Let's go next. The device is connected. Here you have to agree to terms and conditions. So let's use this arrow. The phone is looking for a SIM card. So right now you can insert the SIM card, but you may also uh, do it later. So let me just tap again. The phone is looking for any available updates. Here you can copy apps and data from one of your older devices or you can set up your device as a new. So in my case, let me set up my phone as a new. The device is checking info. Here you can sign in into the Google account. It's also not necessary, but Google account enables a couple of useful features. So let me sign in. Let's enter the password and the email, of course. This is my gmail account let's tap next it's time to input the password let me do it let's just wait a few seconds if you are ready let's choose next right here that's it tap agree to the following terms of service and privacy policy the xiaomi is getting account information here let me tap more and you can use the following Google Assistant by tapping turn on or you can choose no thanks. In my case let me just tap no thanks. Here you have to decide either you would like to enable or disable backup to Google Drive, help apps find your location, improve location accuracy or send usage and diagnostic data. So in my case let me leave all of them enabled, tap accept. Here you can add also another email account or you can just use it uh, the, from the Gmail. Let me just use my Gmail account, choose no thanks. The device is adding some finishing touches, tap got it to the following me cloud permission. Now we have to decide that you would like to allow a couple of features to me cloud. Let me just tap deny in my case. Let's go next. Here you can sign in into your me account. Let me choose skip, skip one more time. Let me also skip the password and additional settings. Now let's choose a theme of your screen. It could be the default, the limitless or the Poco theme. Let me use the Poco one, tap next. Setup completed, so let's use this arrow. The device is loading the apps and preparing the home screen. Let's wait a few seconds. Let me just allow the permission, tap allow, and that's it. The home screen pops up, so everything went well. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel, leave thumbs up under the video.